Starting off with the skin, so I'm going to be using the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. So this is more of a moisturizing primer, which I actually really like. It gives my skin a lot of hydration, and it says that it is a soft matte primer. Next, I'm going to do my foundation, and I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation, and I'm in the color 370. If you want to know like what I really think about the foundation and all that stuff I have a review on my channel I'll actually just link it down below or put it in this video because I don't want to talk too much about the products just because I already did an entire detailed review on the Fenty Beauty products so if you want to see like my actual review then um, you can just check out that video this is more so just showing you guys um, another look using these products because of, like how much I fell in love with them I really want to utilize all these products and show you guys what else and what better way to show you guys another look than actually this look by Rihanna that I'm like so in love with like when she did that look and it's actually it was like a while ago I think it was like two years ago and I'm still living for the look like still living I'm actually gonna apply a little bit more just because I want a little bit of a fuller coverage just a little bit especially like in my discoloration areas and the scars I have on my face so next I'm going to be using the Matchsticks Trio and I'm going to contour first, so I'm going to take Truffle. I've seen Alyssa Ashley um, in her video apply it to a brush. Um, I kind of want to try that. Let's just see right now if, if this works for me. Wow, that actually does work. Okay, I'm just going to... Clearly she knows what she's talking about because look how nice that went on. Wow, no, I'm actually like, wow, look how nice that went on. Like, I'm, okay. I'm mad I already applied it to my face with the stick, but we'll just buff that out. And I'm using the ABH A30 brush, by the way. I always use this brush to blend up my contour. I love it so, so, so much. Okay, that's good for that. I'm gonna do the jawline just a little bit. I've been eating a lot lately, so <laughs> let's cut that jawline a bit. I'm also gonna use some of that to um to contour my nose. And then I'm gonna take the Fenty Beauty makeup sponge and blend that out. I actually totally forgot to introduce the sponge to you guys when I was blending out my foundation, but um I've been using the Fenty Beauty sponge. Okay, so now I'm going to highlight. So I'm going to take the Caramel Matchsticks and just apply that to all my highlighted areas. Okay, so now I'm just going to like blend my contour and like the concealer, like this area. I'm just going to blend that out so nothing looks too harsh and everything looks all nice and, you know, I can't, I can't find the words, but you guys know what I mean. This is the first time I don't actually rush to go ahead and sit under my eyes because um, the concealer is not that creamy, so I'm not even creasing yet, which means I have time to fill in my brows. I'm just going to fill in my brows with what I usually fill in my brows with. I'm going to use the ABH Dip Brow in Chocolate and my angled brush. So in the look that Rihanna did that I am recreating, her brows are more lightly filled in. They look a lot more natural than like super bold and defined, so um, I'm going to fill in my brows a lot lighter than I normally would. Still nice and defined, but not as bold and dark. And to fill in my brows, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Chocolate. This is what I always use to fill in my brows. I'm just gonna clean up my brows with my LA Girl Concealer in medium beige. I'm gonna blend this out some more right here. Blending is key, y'all. Blending is key. <laughs> I'm going to set the cream contour just because I always have to set my cream contours. I'm gonna use my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark Deep and this A19 brush from ABH. I'm 
by the way um it took me like 10 minutes to fill in my brows and I still haven't set my under eye and when I do use my creamy concealers I always have to set my under eyes right after before bronzing or anything like that so as you can see it's been about 15 minutes 15 20 minutes since I've applied the concealer under my eyes and I'm not creasing which is like amazing like it's amazing I'm also going to use some of that MAC Mineralize Bronzer on my nose just to set the cream concealer as well. I'm going to take my Ben Nye Banana Luxury Powder and set my face. And I'm only going to use a light amount under the eyes because I've noticed with this concealer because it's not um, more so on the creamier side, um, you don't need a lot of powder. Then I'm going to take my Mario Badescu facial spray with aloe herbs and rose water and just set my face. Love using this because it just gives me such a nice refreshing feel, especially after just applying powder. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty um, Caramel Matchsticks as a base for my eyeshadow. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend it out with my A6 ABH brush. And I'm going to set that with my banana powder. So in the picture of the look that Rihanna had on, she had like a shimmery champagne kind of gold on her lid. And she had very warm toned browns in her crease. So I'm going to take my Jaclyn Hill and Morphe Collab palette. And I'm going to take Silk Cream in my crease first. And I'm just going to apply this with an A26 brush from ABH. And then I'm going to go in with butter and use that to define my crease. And I'm using the crease brush from Moda. And then I'm going to go in with Roxanne and I'm going to take my A25 ABH brush. For my lid, I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo in this is Mean Money and Hustle Baby. I'm going to use Hustle Baby on my lid and I'm using an A13 brush from ABH. And I'm using like pressing motions to apply this. I find that when applying shimmer, the shimmer applies a lot smoother and is more pigmented when you like press it onto your eyelid so she is wearing winged liner in the picture but it's more evident on the lash line and then she has like a little baby wing so that's what I'm gonna do and I'm using the Ciate London fierce flicks felt tip liner So the lashes that Rihanna's wearing in the picture, they're very spaced out and wispy. So I'm going to use the Noel number 14 lashes from Huda Beauty. And I'm going to apply them with the Huda Beauty lash glue. I'm going to go in with the eyeliner again and just thicken the liner on the lash line and cover the lash band. She's also wearing some eyeliner on the bottom lash line, so I'm going to apply some of that to my waterline. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dark Side Waterproof Gel Liner. She also has some brown shadow on the bottom lash line and it's like smoked out so I'm going to use so I'm going to use Pooter from the Jaclyn Hill palette as well and just smoke out my under eye. And I'm going to take my Milk Makeup Ubame Ubam mascara and apply that to my bottom lashes. I'm going to go back into the Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter Duo and I'm going to take Mean Money and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone. It's a really, like, really soft 
highlight, so I think it's perfect for the brow bone. Now it's time for my favorite part, which is highlighting. I'm going to take the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Freestyle Highlighter in Trophy Wife. You can already tell it's very, very, very pigmented. One little tap, that's all you need. But I'm also going to knock some of that off of my brush. And because this highlighter is very glitter, you don't want to move it around too much because then it's going to look like you have glitter all over your cheek. So you kind of want to, you know, once you set it in one place, blend it out by just tapping it on. But normally when I highlight, I, you know, move the brush all over my cheekbones. But by doing that with this one, it's going to look like you have glitter all over your face. This side just looks a lot more brighter and pigmented. This is how it really looks, but because the light, it hits it a lot better. So you're able to really see it. And on this side it looks, I mean you can still see it, but it's not as, you know. And then for my nose highlight, I'm going to use Hustler Baby. Moving on to the lips, I'm going to take my MAC Cork Liner. So I'm going to take this matte lipstick from MAC, and this is called Antique Velvet. It's so, so pretty. I'm going to take Anastasia's Liquid Lipstick in Vamp. I'm also going to apply a bit of blush just to make myself look a little bit more rosy and soft because she is wearing blush in the picture as well. So I'm just taking the Peachy Love Blush Trio from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I'm going to put that on my cheeks and like sweep it into my contour a little bit. Alright, so moving on to the hair. I know her hair is in a messy bun and she has like... Um, a little bit of like some bangs on both sides and they're curled. So I'm just going to use my wide tooth comb and obviously, you know, detangle that because we don't want any like, you know, knots and stuff like that. And for those wondering, this hair is from Beauty Forever Hair and I'm wearing the Brazilian Loose Wave. I have an 18 inch frontal and then I have in three bundles of 20, 22, and 24. And I did bleach this hair myself. It came obviously like in the natural brown and black style, but um, I did bleach this and I have a video on my channel of how I bleach this showing you literally every step, step by step. So if you want to know how I colored this hair, then you can just check out that video. I'll probably link it in one of the cards in this video or link it down below. So I'm going to section my hair and I'm going to curl just like random pieces in really big pieces. It does not have to be perfect because like I said before, it's in a messy bun. I'm more focused on the front. I just want the bun to look nice and cute. I don't want the frizziness to be seen and I know it's the bottom of the hair which is the longest part. So I'm literally going to section like, this is like half of my head right now. And to curl my hair, I'm using the Remington Curling Wand. This is the one and a half inch barrel. I'll link it down below um, if you do want to, you know, check it out or buy it. And I'm using it on the highest temperature, which is 410. And I'm going to curl my hair away from my face. So I'm going to speed this part up because I'm pretty much just going to do the same thing all around my head and then I'll slow back down for you guys when I get to the front of my hair, like the bang. I'm going to curl the bangs in smaller sections. I'm going to curl it away from my face. And then I'm going to section out um, what I want to be my bangs. And she doesn't have too, too much hair in the front. So... I'm 
And then for the bun, I'm gonna make sure everything's nice and smooth. I'm gonna separate the curls because she has like, they're like not this defined. There's like a lot of little curls just hanging out. I'm going to take my wide tooth comb. So always let the curls drop a bit before touching them too. So now I'm separating them and that's good. It doesn't have to be perfect because this is a messy bun. And I can only find one hairpin and both sides of my hair need hairpins. But you know what, I'm going to take my pictures on this side, because <laughs> this is my good side, so I'm just going to take a bobby pin. And then for my little baby hair right here, I'm going to take, well not mine, but you know what I mean. <laughs> I'm going to take my Hicks edges and a toothbrush. And after I just get the littlest bit on the root, I'm going to hold it down. and then swoop the rest back. And then I'm gonna do a little bit right here. So I'm actually gonna go back in with the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt Highlighter Duo in Hustler Baby. And I'm gonna put that on top of um, Trophy Wife. I hope it's not gonna like flash. I just need a more warm, I just need a more warm, golden, soft highlight instead of the yellowish green. That is blinding. At least they, they actually mix good together. Then I'm just going to finish off this look with spraying my face with the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray again. Just so I can look nice and refreshed because I've been sweating and the lights and everything. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. And I know it doesn't look exactly like the look that she had on, but I think it's pretty close and I like how it came out. I'm really, really digging the dark lippy and it's been so long since I've actually done a dark lip, so I'm, I'm feeling it. And I hope you guys enjoyed this look as well. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!